So Rings was not very good. I gotta say, it's been a long time since I've seen the first one, so I really wasn't sure what to expect going into it. I hadn't actually seen any trailers, which is always good. Um, but I was, I was less than thrilled. Uh, the acting really doesn't hold. The visual look of it is very similar to the original, but looks strange now. Um, and the scares are incredibly lackluster. Plus, if you're the sort of person who's interested in the mythology as it expands over the course of a long-running horror series, they just went everywhere. Um, just no good. Uh, so let's start with the visual look here. They made it look a lot like what I remember the original looking like, which had that really kind of washed out but still underexposed bluish thing going on. Um, which really makes it look out of place because I, I think as a movie viewing public we've kind of moved beyond that sort of look in, in our horror movies and we have a little bit more uh, color in our stuff going on and that just really didn't have have anything. It looked really strange, uh, really out of place uh, next to other movies that I've seen recently. <laughs> For having such a unique visual look to it, it didn't really have any atmosphere at all because they kept interrupting everything with, you know, quick flashes, quick cuts, because they have the video involved here, and, uh, and a lot of hallucinated jump scares, which are always strange to me because they're big, they're loud, they're startling, but they're gone immediately because they were never really there. Even in retrospect, they have no actual weight to them. And you can do cool stuff with characters just seeing things, but they really didn't. And it was another weird thing too that, of course, in the traditional mythology of it, you have to watch the videotape before you get cursed, but they were having characters see shit before they even watched the video. Uh, which isn't on tape anymore now, it's a quick time file, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, digital revolution, all that. Props. The dialogue, I think, depended a lot, too, on the lead character really being able to emote and deliver. Uh, but it became very obvious at a number of points that um, whatever actress they cast, English may not have been her first language, and she very obviously spoke it with an accent and was just putting on an American accent for the movie. And there were times when you could hear it slipping and, and pointing out that this was much more of a performance. Yeah, so I was not really impressed with this one at all. There were moments where it seemed like it could have gone in a cool direction and then it just didn't. Really just spent most of its time retreading more of the same stuff as the original. Except you need more than flashes of trippy images to uh, to mess with people. Especially since there already was a movie that did that and it was called The Ring. So we're kind of moving into spoiler territory here, but there were a couple of specific points that I wanted to get into a little bit, not the least of which being this whole thing really starts when a college professor gets a hold of the tape at a flea market and watches it and then somehow decides that he's going to turn this into a research project with papers and equipment and a lab and statistical analysis and tons and tons of students. Uh, and there's a whole mythology that's hinted at um, that was built up around this, but they never kind of did anything with it. The main character wandered into it, one character died, and then the whole thing got called off and it was just a point-to-point -point mystery back in the original town. Why was that even there? I mean, it wasn't helped by the fact that it was this weird frickin' nightclub lounge in, like, an abandoned floor of a research building that you needed a special key to get into. I mean, how does a biology professor even have the clout to pull that off? And then the way that they expanded the whole thing, because obviously it's the sequel, so you need to expand it and do more. The way that they expanded it was to have a lot of stuff about this other vanished girl in the town who then happened to be Samara's mother 
and it was really Samara again. So the tape wound up having little bits of both mysteries, but both mysteries were the same, and they followed the clues and, and got to the same places. And the way they followed the clues was obnoxious, too. Every single time the characters made a logical leap, they would flash the relevant part of the video up on screen just to make sure that you, you knew how they got there. There were so many weird false starts to the whole thing. I mean, it starts off on, on a plane, and there, there's a guy that gets uh, killed on the plane, which apparently kills everybody on the plane because... I don't know. And then it goes, and there's the, the college thing, and then it's not the college thing anymore, and they just go to the town, and it's the regular town thing, and... It was just... it was messy. Yeah, I think if I go any further with this, I'm gonna start repeating myself, so just... It's not good. Don't bother. Uh, see Split. James McAvoy is awesome. Cheers.